Whoa, hold up a minute. Pump the brakes on GSAT. All right, hey friends, we're talking about GSAT Global Star again, but I just made a video on them yesterday and I wanna talk about them again because the stock has continued to go up and we've seen a lot happen here with this big news that Riley has come out with. But to get you up to date, if you don't know, B. Riley Securities released a buy rating of $3.25 over the next year. So they are saying Global Star should be at least at $3.25 range a year from now. So obviously what's gonna happen here, Global Star is going to take effect from this and it has been, and it has been going up nonstop here, very slowly, but it's still been a nice pull up. So Global Star is just under that $2 range. We're almost at $2 again with Global Star and we have not seen $2 for a few months now here, since February. So. The market is closed with me making this video, but even after hours, Global Star is hitting a little over a dollar ninety cents. So, kind of curious to see what's going to happen here, even even more so after hours going into night. But a few things I want to say with Global Star: encouragement and just a warning. Global Star is not a debt-free company. So, if you are investing in Global Star, no, they are not a debt-free company. They have a lot of debt on them. Why is this important? Because they're going to have to pay that debt off before they start having just cash on hand, a lot of it. They're going to have to pay that off. They're going to somewhere in the future, even if this were to hit a $3 to $4 zone within the next few months, six months to a year from now, they would start doing stock offerings, obviously, to pay off debt, to pay off loans, to whatever they need it for, as most companies do that as their stock rises. Another thing, do I believe in Global Star? Absolutely. I believe in this company. I believe this company is already a fundamental company that's already built and is continuing to build on what they already have, their technology, their partnerships, their contracts, everything they have. We have seen nothing but positive, positive news just in this year alone for 2021. Another thing, Global Star is talked about so much right now. It has so much new blood in it that it is great. This is what is keeping Global Star alive too. It has so many new investors in it. But the double-edged sword here is what I wanna tell people. Obviously, we have had two positive big days here with Global Star, just almost in that $2 range. So tomorrow going into Wednesday, the stock market pretty much overall today just kinda, of cra a lot of things crashed early on and then actually they started to come back here, you know, AMC is almost at 60, Nano Dimensions, almost a little bit at $9. Tesla going up, uh, Plug Power. Plug Power had a great day because they had earnings come out and they still didn't even meet their quota on plug their, their earnings. Anyway, but what I want to say is, you know, we've had the crypto fall apart here. Um, so I'm expecting going into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, somewhere in this week, we're going to probably have a massive sell off in Global Star. Now, here's what I'm trying to say is, do I believe Global Star is going to hit this $3 range within a year? Yeah, I'm excited, I'm hopeful, I am with the Riley announcement, but we're definitely gonna see some bigger quarterlies come out here and you know, it, it showing that in a, you know, a financial way. Bigger contracts, better financials, all that. And yeah, that can happen and I think that's gonna happen with all the contracts they have already taken on just this year. But I wanna say this, because last time this happened with Global Star, Global Star had this big push up and a lot of people were buying Global Star around like $1.90, $2 over, you know, like well over $2. And then after, you know, Global Star kind of like it, the hype train was over and it declined down and sold off. And granted, we did go into a massive pullback into the stock market there. But still, here's what I want to say. If you're not in Global Star for at least like the next year or two, you know, I, I would be very gentle at looking, uh, you know, looking at Global Star as a penny stock. Global Star is not so much a penny stock anymore. You know, it's, it's not really there. It's kind of, even when it's going down, there's not a lot of play in it. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you're buying this at $1.90, know that there's going to be massive sell-off coming. It's going to happen. We've seen this again and again with Global Star. So I expect sometime this week, Global Star to shoot back down to like a dollar fifty, dollar forty, and that's a lot safer range to buy Global Star. Now, could it do the complete opposite and shoot past two dollars tomorrow? It certainly could. It certainly could, and honestly, I hope it does. But you know, I want to use this just as a you know, like just because that. Um, article came out, you know, don't look at that as like, I got to get in this right now. You know, it doesn't matter. I said, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you know, we don't see $3 anytime soon. And I say, I don't even want to see $3 for like, like at least another three months. I want to see a steady climb because 
what do we know? If you've been in the stock market for any time, anytime any stock just shoots up, anytime it shoots up, it's always going to come back down really fast and hard, hard. It's going to come back down really fast. So what we're seeing right now, this steady growth, this is great. This is very healthy. We're seeing building blocks being built here. But what I want to tell you is I, I remember last time this happened and people were writing me, leaving me comments like, blaming me because they bought it like over two dollars fifty cents and i was telling people i was like listen this is not a debt-free company this is you're involved in a hype train right now you know like if you're buying global star of over two dollars fifty cents like two dollars like you know like I, I told people like you're gonna have to be here for the next like year or two to see if things really happen so i just want to use that as encouragement and a word of warning because i've been with global star for a pretty long time i've seen this a few times with global star already you know big news comes out and we have this big push up and then people buy it at that right at the high point and then the next day it just plummets back down to earth you know and people just they, they start they get upset so uh, you know obviously i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a guy with a youtube channel who obsesses over things and brings you content as truthful as i can so i just want to be truthful here and i want to say this is a great opportunity yeah if you're going to be here the next you know four or five years you know two years minimum yeah yeah whatever buy it you know under two dollars buy it at two dollars whatever but a lot of people are still looking at global star as a penny stock in the sense of like it, it's gonna have massive movement you know it's gonna have like a 30 to 40 cent range within a week and you know i like i said i would not be surprised to see global star sh you know just shoot back down to you know dollar forty dollar fifty here at the end of this week sometime but a dollar forty dollar fifty on global star that's still fantastic that are that those are fantastic numbers as far as i'm concerned global star is back in the running it has its volume back it has people back it has the news around it it's still fabulous i mean it literally we could not ask for more besides like the reddit community getting a hold of it or elon musk getting a hold of it or you know Jeff Bezos talking about Global Star, you know, something like that would be great, but we're crossing our fingers on that one. So, like I said, I've been here a long time with Global Star, so just use this as, you know, encouragement and warning too. So, just be careful here, friends. Do what you want to do, but, you know, just me, myself, you know, I'm not, not really buying into this hype train. You know, this is great news and this is great how the stock's reacting, but if you're here for the long run, whatever, do what you want to do. But if you're here just trying to make a quick buck in and out, you know, yeah, there's money to be made, but it's going to be a little bit more dangerous and you could get stuck here very easily. So, friends, with all that that said, remember, be positive, be you. I wish you all the luck in the stock market. The stock market takes no prisoners. It is a very dangerous place to be. You know, don't play around with it. But make sure you invest in your future. I invest in my future and it changed my life. It really did. It helped me find myself. But friends, I will talk to you very soon. Best of luck, guys. Bye-bye.